Hello everybody, this is Jen from Main and Sense and Such and we are making soap. I felt bad because I did not record my last two making videos. So this I'm recording. Put in my colloidal oatmeal and kale and clay. <laughs> And the soap that I am making is called Butt Naked. <laughs> um, it's one of the orders from the fragrance company. And I just read the scent description on it, and for the life of me, I can't remember what all it said, but I know it's um, a bunch of florals or not floral, uh, fruities. I know that there's strawberries and mango and um, a couple others. It, it smells wonderful. And I didn't dry out my bowls. And I think I'm going to do four colors, I hope. Um, the base is gonna be like a off-white and then like a pinkish, uh, burgundy, and teal, maybe. And so I'm just drying out my containers really fast. And then I'll grab my lye water. All right. Lye water and strainer. My lye water has Tessa Silk. That's why I always strain it because there's little bits in it. I mean, my, my lye water was in a sink of water, cold water, so that's not lye on there. That's just uh, water, regular water. Smells really good. I'm not sure. I know it's a, a fragrance that is well known. The next batch, I'm going to do two. The next one, I think. It's called Fruit Loops. I think I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with it. I don't know. Maybe it was butt naked. Maybe you think the base should be brown. I don't know. Hmm. Because when I think of naked, I think of tan. It's just what I think of. <laughs> and I don't want a, a lot of colors or, you know, I don't want them a whole lot of each color. Maybe I'll do this a pale brown. Do just a tiny bit of cocoa powder in it. Let's get my cocoa powder down. Put just a little bit. We'll see how that does to get us a pale brown. So let me grab that right there where I poured it. just a hair bit more. Probably gonna end up getting this to where it's really thick. 
I'm not going to be able to do much. Here we go. further than that. I see a little brown speck floating around. Oh well, he'll be alright. Alright. Let's go to this color. Turn that down. We'll do the pinkish. Oh, God. Oh. You guys know that I'm just total klutz when it comes to soaping. All right, let's get this color in there. We'll get that washed off later. A little bit more color. Alright. You can? Yeah. Well, good job. Why'd you can play that game all by yourself? People are shooting you. No, just one, just one guy did. He did. And no guy did. Right as That's not nice, is it? No. Well, I'm my big teal and I have to. That's not teal. That's my purple. <laughs> oh well. Get a little bit darker. Okay. Well, change of color plans. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I am making so much soap right now that I sometimes don't know what's left from right. All right, burgundy. Let's hope that this is burgundy. going to be like sick pouring. Oh well. <sighs> I never can make soap without making a mess or spilling something or you know something like that. Get us a mold in here. big deal. This will just be a scoop and plop. And we'll do a spoon swirl. Put this on the floor. Uh oh, telephone. 
on pause you guys I'm back that was the fragrance company she's wanting to ask me some questions and I think what I'm going to do is just layer this no swirl I'll leave that for the top but I told her I was making soap and I'll call her back making soap for her all right I'll bang this one down Layers are, for me, not the easiest, but they are pretty when you can layer. Um, now mine probably will not be perfect just because I'm doing it. That's okay with me. do the pink. Holy cow. It's perfect for layering because it's so thick. Or piping. It's almost to the consistency for piping. bit. Hope you guys can see. Yeah. You guys can pretty well see what I'm doing. Which I don't have a tripod or nothing. I just have you guys propped up on some of my um, containers. <laughs> Bang this one. Alright. Next layer of tan. one other soap like this and it turned out pretty good like I said my layers are never even but I'm not perfect this one. Now, last but not least is our purple layer and then we'll top it with our tan. <gasps> Holy cow! You guys be careful when you're uh, stirring. <laughs> you can do like I just did. And splatter it everywhere. Let me wash my hands. Oh, 
Okay, back. Drying hands. <sighs> Sorry about the, that I'm just such a mess today. But oh, I went to the post office to get boxes for my big order that I have. And would you believe that they don't have them in stock? I have to order them. And that takes seven to 10 business days. Yay me, you know? It's just my luck. But I did go shopping at the dollar store today and bought some things. Hmm. Or soap. I love the dollar store for soap making. It's where I buy my these little containers and my spatulas and all of that. Alright. Okay. Let's put the rest of this on top. God, is that thick? <laughs> See, don't over mix, guys. That's what I got for mixing, um, trying to get all the little specks out from my cocoa powder to get this a tan color, flesh kind of tannish a butt naked color Get these bowls moved out of the way over into the sink. Alright, let's get our spoon. Clean the edge. around a little bit. I don't want them perfect. Maybe zoom in just a hair. There you go. A little. I don't want to go down far because if I do I will hit that layer. And I am just a tiny bit but that's okay. I like my textured tops. 
I love that how the color is just down the center. And it's got it to where I can adjust it. Dollar store, find. And they were on the last chance aisle, which is everything is marked down. And then their last chance stuff today was marked down 50% off. So I got them for 75 cents, two of them all about bargains all right everybody this is my butt naked soap thank you guys for watching bye bye